Tomorrow is Judgment Day for mayoral and council hopefuls as we go to the polls for a second time in just over a month. The politicians are making their final pitches, but are we fed up with politics? A last-ditch attempt to convince voters they're up to the task. Are you ready, Eddie? <laughs> I'm ready, I'm ready. The mayoral candidates out trying to chase down front-runner Tom Tate. But the big questions of the day were, can they do it? And do the punters care? Oh, I just like the idea of uh, his whole idea, whatever he stands for, I, I like that idea. Negativity, a big sticking point. I'm just sick of hearing the scandals and the pick pocketing and everybody, you know, Tom Tate and Eddie Sarraf just fighting with each other the whole time, I'm sick of it. So. There will be 109 places to vote tomorrow at mainly state schools and community centres. And don't forget to get the name ticked off or a $50 fine will be coming your way. The Electoral Commission says pre-polling at booths like here in Burley has been popular across the coast, but the bulk of the city's 300,000 registered voters will make up their minds from 8am tomorrow. And they will only choose one mayor, the rest having to put their leadership aspirations on hold. Both Eddie Saroff and Susie Douglas say they haven't thought that far ahead, but will be looking to take a holiday. Tom Tate and Peter Young say they will continue to work in the business community, while Elvis impersonator Dean Vegas will return to his semi-retired lifestyle entertaining on cruise ships. John Abbott is looking to get other special projects off the ground, while Keith Douglas says he will dig his heels in and act as a shadow mayor while preparing for the next election.